All right, here is the long-awaited video on how I made plate mail or Bacta armor. First, I have to prepare plates for the armor. Unfortunately, I constantly have to battle with rust. It's a natural phenomena that I still haven't mastered. I used a lot of different methods you will see in this video to fight against it, but using hard sandpaper brush and a lot of uh, hard work works much better than using different acids I found. After I cut the metal bits, uh, then I mark them and make uh, divots where mail would go in later on. I make divots so drill head doesn't slip off and make um, centimeters of uh, holes because each, uh, each hole needs to align with the mail uh, and the other plates. So I need to be exact in this situation. So I make uh, prepared holes for the drill to go in. I first drill four corners uh, so I can align multiple layers of metal. So I don't, don't have to individually drill each and every plate. It would take far, far longer to make uh, divots on each plate I need. And uh, it might not align perfectly. So I make another hole on the uh, underneath plates uh, for demonstration. Also, forgive my hairy legs. It was really hot that day when I was filming. I also make divots for the drill here. I need to uh, be exact as well. So I need to be exact as well here. I use screw nails to hold the plates together so while I'm drilling they don't slip off. It helps me be precise when I drill. I also don't put uh, as many plates uh, while I, uh, for example, I use for lamellar armor. I prefer uh, in this particular case to use a bit fewer, maybe four or five, so I don't slip up uh, on the underneath plates and be exact as possible. It's a lot of hard work, especially trying to be, trying not to make mistakes because, uh, as you can see, the holes are really, really close to one another, and one slip up might ruin a whole batch of plates. Now, my battle with rust continues. Plates I made uh, all got rusted over. I used vinegar, uh, alkaline acids to wash them and clean them off but unfortunately after I washed them and uh, used cloth to dry them off they immediately rusted over and I had to resort to putting lacquer over but unfortunately as you can see lacquer really didn't protect the plates from rusting underneath. I don't know how it happened but when I <laughs> lacquered it first time it wasn't as rusted. And uh, I had to put multiple layers of lacquer. As you can see, some bits and uh, slight edges aren't lacquered over. Every time I lacquered three or four times, because every time it dried, I would find a little bit missing in the corner or, or on edges or underneath the holes. Or It was a real struggle. Unfortunately, uh, there was no one to teach me about this. I had to learn through one master that will always be there to teach you your failures and uh, i hope you can learn from my mistakes battle with rust is a one of the main subjects as a armor maker or a recreator or a hobbyist uh, or someone who w works with metal or has metal things has to worry about now let's get to actually making plate mail First, I would like to introduce to you overlapping plates, overlapping plate mail, where you put together two or one or two, depending how flexible you want. This, for example, leg pieces have two rings holding plates together, which make, make it much more durable, but make it far less flexible. As you can see, I abandoned like a style and I just put oil on top and painted the underneath so it doesn't rust. In this case, it's much less flexible, but I don't need really that much flexibility on my uh, legs. But for my forearms, 
and my shoulders, I decided to make one ringed overlapping plates, which are much more flexible, but it's of course not as flexible as uh, male, putting male in between. This is also uh, quite intensive work and one of the mistakes I want to point out and uh, all of you to keep in mind is to make sure the holes align in this case. Unfortunately, I didn't really plan uh, through it and made um, small little mistakes which later on turned into a much, much larger ha hustle and uh, struggle than it had to be because I didn't realize when you overlap layers small gaps exist between plates because those plates are perfectly aligned and uh, the holes also miss one another and they're not perfectly aligned. In the future I would and I would also recommend the viewer, the viewer to keep in mind to make overlapping layer holes to be much wider then underneath holes to be much better aligning when you actually go on and put them together. Now, as you can see, I start uh, combining it with male, so it would cover more flexible areas. Male to protect all the vital areas that need to be flexible or can't be protected by plates. Now, we go into plate and male style, where in between plates there is a layer of mail which is much much more flexible and uh, more resource friendly as you could imagine it takes much less metal to put them side by side and uh, combine them with mail than overlap them and it uh, if you're mail making mail and you want to like it's all to make mail it's a great way to save up on uh, resources and time if you are making mail to put some plates in between as for uh, visual uh, decoration and as for uh, saving up time and effort. But don't forget it's uh, also a lot of struggle to make perfectly aligned holes for the metal plates as well. So keep that in mind. I hope this video was informative and uh, you could learn from the mistakes I made along the way. Hope you found, found this informative or entertaining and goodbye.